what's up guys in this video we're going to be talking about the Synco G2 A2 wireless microphone which was recently launched and in this video I'm going to be giving it a, giving it a test run and seeing what the mic is all about and if you're ready let's get on with the video <laughs> There are a lot of wireless microphones out there. Most famous of them all is the Rode wireless microphone. And just recently, um, even before now, Cinco had also had the G1, which was the smaller version they had, which one of the main complaints that people had was that it did not have like a screen to be able to monitor the audio levels and, and see everything battery-wise and all that but just recently Cinco just listened to people's comments and they launched a more like what you have with the Rode Wireless Go 2 but this time it has the, the screen where you can monitor the levels and everything that relates with the microphone and right now I'm testing it with the lapel mic and if it, it, it's I don't know how it sounds for you and from when I tested it, it sounded really nice and it had like clear, it able to block out any other external noise and just focus directly on you, what you're saying. So how does it sound? So um, first up, when you open it, you first up when you open the package, you get a 3.5 millimeter TRRS uh, phone cable. Uh, a uh, 3.5 millimeter um, TRS uh, camera uh, cable, a cable to plug the to plug it the receiver to the camera, and also another cable to plug from your phone or your or whatever device you have to the receiver. Also, it comes with an external lapel mic, one of which I'm also wearing and using to do this uh, head uh, talking headshot. Um, and it also comes with um, the muffs that stays on top of the mics. Um, also, it comes with a carry-on case. It comes with this carry-on case. And also, it has a, a eject pin just in case you need to reset the microphones uh, and you can just put the pin in there more like what you have with your sim inject for your smartphones so um, yeah those are the things that come inside the box with the microphone and looking at it, it, it some of the features of this microphone is it has an, a, a transmission extension, uh, a transmission range of 50 meters, which is about 164 feet, if you're in the US. And it has, like I said earlier, it has a well articulate uh, colored screen where you can measure the audio level and see how loud your voice might be. And also, you could also see the battery levels, and also, it ha it, 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 you could also see if you're muted or unmuted it has um, a mono stereo out output where you can you can decide if you want to if you want to do your audio level in stereo or also do it in mono and also it it has a one button um, muting uh, for muting meaning for example if for example you you take making a take and you're taking a pause and you don't want whatever you're saying and you need to talk to the producer or the, the director and you don't want what you're saying to get into the tape you could mute the audio and talk privately with whoever and once you're ready you come back on set you can press back the button and continue talking and uh, i could test it for out for you and see how it sounds uh let's see press the mute button So now you can hear me now. I just press back the the mute button to unmute it, 
and that's how it works it's seamless and it's just one tap and it's muted and also some of the features the microphone has is a built-in external microphone yep so you can see uh, it has the lapel which is connected right now and which i'm using to talk to you and also you can easily just also talk directly from the transmitter so i can do a test now and show you how it sounds so now right now i'm talking directly from the receiver from the transmitter sorry and how does it sound and i'm looking directly at the audio level from the camera and seems pretty decent and one note you need to take is to also adjust the audio level for both the lapel and the speaking directly to the transmitter because most times from what i've noticed the lapel the lapel volume level seems to be a bit higher than the receiver so when you're talking directly to the receiver it's advisable you watch the the level so that you doesn't the audio doesn't clip so i'm going to plug back the lapel after testing this one just so you have here the reset button and the reset section you also have here the USB-C charging port. Might you plug in your mic here, and you have the power button and the mute button here. And yep, that's it for for the receiver. For the receiver, you have the same USB-C, uh, the power and mute uh, buttons, the audio levels yeah also you can control the audio levels of the receiver uh, the transmitters yeah and also you have the resets um button here yeah and yeah you have where you plug the output to the camera in this case this is my canon r6 so you plug it in here there's a cable you plug it in there and then you also have uh, you could also monitor the audio output uh from the wireless microphone yeah there so you can plug in your headphones and be sure that you're always in sync when you are recording for battery life it has an eight hour battery life and yeah it has an eight hours battery life and it takes about a, an hour and a half to fully charge both um uh transmitters and yeah it all they it comes normally comes with this um cable with a three in one uh charging cable where you could also charge the receiver and the two transmitters that this microphone comes with. So the reason why it's called uh, the G2 A2, the A2 stands for two transmitters. So this is this is um, transmitter, uh, transmitter one and this is transmitter two. So for example, if you have a two people interview session and you want to, you can easily now just put one mic on one person and mic and, and put another mic on the second person so it, it, it you can get seamless audio output with two people talking straight into the camera and for pricing it goes for about a hundred and forty nine dollars if you are just having one of this one of the transmitter but if you're going for a two-person transmitter then it cost about uh, 199 dollars 199 so i think if there's one one thing that they've done very well is being able to put the price at a very reasonable rate rate and also still include all the needed accessories that will be needed to power on or use this device properly so now we're going we're going outside to test the microphone and see how far we can we how far the range we can get 
in an outdoor situation with this wireless microphone. So now I'm going to be testing the lapel uh, on my chest and see how far the range can go. I'm going to go far back there and also go by the corner and let's see how far the mic or the, the range can go. The range can go with the mic. Uh, testing, 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 testing. Hello, what a sunny day. Uh, so I think I am, I think I am pretty much close to 10, 50 feet already. I think so. How far is it going? <coughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, hear me, hear me? So this is the lapel test with the Cinco G2. Uh, let's see how far it can go. Can you hear me? Uh, so I'm gonna walk back and let's see how it yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna be testing the transmitter without the lapel mic and see how the sound goes and also test the range testing 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 <laughs> testing Testing, testing, testing. How is the range? How is the range? Range, 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 range. Testing the single G2 wireless mic. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. So how does that sound? So, well, hopefully it sounds good when I check it in edit, but so far, how does it sound? So one final test I'm going to be doing now is testing and seeing how the range can pass through wall. And I'll be going to my basement and I'll be, be seeing how far the audio level can go. Let's go. Testing, 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 right now I'm in the basement of my studio and just testing to see how far the range can go through the wall. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. So, that's the test right now, outdoors, and we head back inside and conclude. So, to conclude, who is the Cinco G2 uh, wireless microphone for? Well, the Cinco uh, G2 wireless microphone is for anyone who does YouTube, anyone who has, who does real estate videos, uh, talking head videos like I'm doing right now, uh, interviews, uh, podcast, and any other thing. And the good thing with all these microphones is that if you feel the output you're getting is not good, while you're editing, you can always twink and change the settings to suit your hearing taste or your listening pleasure and so far from my first impression from using this microphone i feel it's a good it's a good it's a good choice when you're looking for wireless microphones especially when you're looking for something that does not burn the pocket and something that is at least at par with what you have from road so far from what i've listened and what you might be listening to right now 
this sound is comparable to any wireless microphones you can have right now you can always tweak it increase the bass increase the treble enhance the voice silence uh, hummings and other things so this is where i end the video and i would, I would appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up a like and also if you could also share and subscribe to this channel and till next time it's peace